Whose land is this? My land. Well, 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 our war hero has arrived. You made a good choice coming back here. Those days are the finest, wealthiest, and most beautiful people on God's earth. They outsmarted everybody. They have the say. Who gets the oil? Son, I got a question. You like women? <laughs> That's my weakness. <laughs> well, we mix these families together, and that estate money flows the right direction. It'll come to us. Shomikasi. That's how you are. I don't know what you said, but it must have been Indian for handsome devil. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you come here? I work with my uncle. Are you scared of him? Oh, he's a, he's the nicest man in the world. The Osage, their time is over. We got to take back control of our home. I was sent down from Washington, D.C. to see about these murders. We have so many deaths, we've lost count. It's just bad luck. Seems more like an epidemic than bad luck to me. Osage is dying by the enemy. Do not let them die alone. Evil surrounds my heart. You gotta pick a side. I don't even know if you love me anymore. Of course I love you. And kill these men who killed my family. Did your wife say who she was most afraid of? Don't do something you're going to regret for the rest of your life. I ain't got nothing but regret. Boom, there you go. That was the trailer for Killers of the Flower Moon arriving to theaters on October 20th. It's your boy, Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World, and I'm here to give y'all my full review of Killers of the Flower Moon. Uh, just got home from the press screening about an hour ago, um, and I'm ready to throw down my thoughts. Y'all give you my full review. Um, as you saw from the trailer, this is a story... Uh, uh, epic story, Western crime drama. Um, we have Leonardo DiCaprio's character coming back from the war, uh, back to uh, the U.S. He's uh, meeting up with his uncle, played by Robert De Niro, De Niro uh, to work with him uh, and live in this new area, uh, Osage, uh, the Osage Nation in Oklahoma, um, and and just you know have a new place and. and uh, you know, live, continue on from returning from the war now. And uh, it starts off with um, the Osage Nation, uh, the natives uh, discovering oil, um, and, and then, you know, they become wealthy. Uh, you know, th there's some historical elements in here. And uh, the, the people of this area become very wealthy. And uh, it attracts, you know, uh, oil companies to come out there, white people to come out there. Uh, to you know, just gain, get these profits and and work and, and become rich. And uh, there's uh, Robert De Niro's character, who's uh, the resident white man that kind of you know bridges the gap between the natives and the white people, and um, and, and you know uh, helps build up this community. But there's motivations behind his character, and uh, uh, when Leonardo DiCaprio's character comes to town, uh, he he gets him De Niro's character gets him employed, and uh, kind of you know explains to him he should you know maybe marry one of the native women and that way you can inherit the money uh by marrying the the women and uh all of that and you come to find out there's these series of murders that occur uh in the area and there might be some cir circumstances behind that and uh it's just a constant build of death um and uh, and privilege and, and uh racism and uh just just uh the underlying themes in there 
uh, that, that's the core of the story. Uh, uh, you can research the history books. There's going to be a lot about there about this film because uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of talk on this film. Um, but uh, a, a, a good adaptation is from a book uh, that they got the rights to that uh, based on a book of the same name, uh, Killers of the Fire uh, uh, Moon uh, by David Gran. Uh, this was written uh, with Martin Scorsese and Eric Roth. Uh, Martin Scorsese directed and produced this film um, and also uh, was on the writing tours uh, with Eric Roth. Um, so uh, let, let, let's get let's get down because uh, I got some stuff to say. But uh, in, in regards to the nuts and bolts of this film, uh, Martin Scorsese is a legend. You know, he's been killing killing it in the film industry for a very long time. Um, beautiful film. Uh, you really feel like you're in this time period. Uh, everything looks uh, amazing. Uh, you really the tone of the film. You really feel like you're entering to this area. Just the shot selections were were fantastic. Iconic uh, iconic images like you see behind me. Uh, this is one of the final scenes you'll see in the film. Um, just amazing work. Uh, and then the cast. Come on now, Robert De Niro, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Lily Gladstone. You'll see Brendan Fraser in there. John Lithgow, um, Jesse Plemons. Uh, an amazing cast that come in and kill it. Um, just well acted um brilliant brilliantly shot uh uh, uh interesting story that just has this build um it, it, it's it's a beautiful film and, and it's well acted and, and all of that with that being said now my thoughts on this joint man um this film's long and not that i don't like long films i like a good build-up but then uh this film you really feel it uh i felt it uh they and they want you to sit in it uh, I think that's a, a part of uh, the intention uh, of the filmmakers behind this. You, you, they want you to go through the motions, live with these characters, and understand uh, why it leads into its final resolution. Um, but I have to tell you, um, these characters aren't likable. Leonardo DiCaprio isn't a likable character. Robert De Niro isn't a likable character. Um, and and uh, it's just... There's these white men, to be completely honest, uh, that uh, take advantage of these native uh, Os Osaji Nation people. Um, and uh, it's just all about them killing them to then, you know, take over and become rich themselves. Um, you know, the, there's the KKKs in there uh, and Leonardo DiCaprio is friendly with those people. Uh, character, his character. Um, you know, it just... It's just, it hurts, and it, because there's just all this death. Uh, that it, it's all about them just taking advantage of these natives, and, and you just see death after death after death. Because it, and it's all part of the story, and and that's what they're trying to tell uh, about how these white Americans took advantage of these natives to then just gain rich, and then it leads to a court case and all of that. And uh, I'm just tired of these stories, man, and just. You know, I, I don't want to feel compassion for for these men. And yes, they're dumb, and yet they and that's per perfectly illustrated. That I don't Scorsese is not is not isn't trying to framework uh, them in, in, into anything nice. You know, you see the, both sides of the coin of how their characters are, but I'm just tired, man. Uh, I'm tired of showcasing evil. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I'm just. I don't know. The The previous night before I've, I've screened this film, I, I saw another film uh, that's coming to Netflix called Nyad about uh, uh, Diana Nyad, who is a an amazing swimmer. And then uh, after a while, she gets back into swimming and, and tries five times to swim from Cuba to Florida to, to Key West and, uh, you know, makes it on the fifth time at the age of like 64. But with that being said, and as a person of color, like it, it's just reeks of privilege. As a person of color, there's no way we would get bankrolled to do five attempts, and it's insane. And for what? You know what I'm saying? I understand the determination and trying to do different things, but like that's just crazy for me. I can't see that. That there hasn't been an establishment for uh, we as people of color, and and just for what for for that to be something we would want to do or desire to do you know if if all the power for people that go for the goals and dreams and stuff like that i don't want to shed anything down but it's just it's just a wild thing of privilege that just is always seen in media and entertainment 
and then like with, with and so you know it's a brilliant movie in, in Nyad, but it's just I don't know I I, I it I, it's hard to relate to and, and uh, there's message of not being too old and uh and uh, still going for it despite your age and never giving up and, and then I see this film where uh, you know just death of people of color and, and the white people that take advantage just makes me angry and upset. Uh, again, this is a brilliant looking film and all that, but it just having to sit through a movie where I'm just seeing constant death. It, it's just tiring, y'all. Um, uh, it shouldn't take away from this film, but the content of this film just got me tired and bored and angry. Um, again, good looking film. Uh, there's a lot of cool moments in this film uh, and, and inspiring things as a filmmaker. But just this content of this film, tired of it, y'all. Uh, uh, it's a worthy story. Hopefully, it will educate people to you know of the 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 the, the evils of the world and and, and things that have occurred. Uh, I hope that is the message people will leave with. And instead of being inspired, maybe the other way to take advantage of people, um, it just hurts, man. And, and you're just probably getting it. You're like, man, this is supposed to be a film review. As I said at the jump. Great looking film, well casted, you know, an uh, uh, in, in entertaining film. But at the same time, my entertainment is it's it's hard to be entertained at at the at the death of people of color and just glamorization of or just hearing of, of, of white people in them and looking at them. Oh, hey, it's it's hard, y'all. So th th that's 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 what I wanted to say about this film. Uh, and I. This cast is amazing. The, the 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 people that put it together are amazing. This is as a film. This is a well acted, beautifully written, uh, uh, well constructed display. But as a person of color, I'm just tired, y'all. Tired. Um, Killers of Flower Moon, y'all. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Am I alone in how I'm feeling? Um, I know there's gonna be some haters that are gonna come at you like, man, oh, you're, you're, you're. you know what? Fuck you. Um, Whatever. Uh, if you want to talk constructive, we can talk constructive. Um, but those are my thoughts. Oh, that's just how I'm feeling, man. Um, again, uh, as a filmmaker putting that hat on, man. Uh, maybe uh, it, it just got me mad, y'all. Um, but it's, a, it's it's beautiful. It looks good. Well acted. Um, but just the content uh, made me mad, y'all. And uh, I'm just tired of it. Um, but... Let me give some kudos over to Martin Scorsese. You know what? Let, let me, I'm looking back at my background right now. One of the things I really liked, and here's a, a point where uh, you may want to, I don't know, hit put, put a pause. Uh, this isn't too much of a spoiler, but um, the way it closes out, um, actually, I want to give some just some props to Martin Scorsese. Uh, we see this whole film, you know, we we get this tale, but then there's a uh, a, a change up that happens at the end, how he closes it out. And uh, there's explanation of how certain characters finished off, but we close it out with this brilliant shot right here. Um, I think now brought into modern times where we see uh, an ode to the Osage, uh, Osage nation. And I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that uh, O S A G E nation. Um, uh, they're beating their drums. They're dancing. Um, and we have this beautiful aerial shot and, um, I really appreciated that because I think at the end of the day, man, just sitting through all this death, man, we should really honor these people. And another thing I would also give to, to Scorsese and the team behind this, uh, that did their homework about, uh, the culture, the people, uh, it's beautifully displayed throughout this film. Uh, that's another thing I really enjoyed about this film. Um, we really get to experience different customs of, of the Osage nation, uh, there's a lot of conversation in that regard uh, and spoken. I will say, though, one of the things that is I, it was weird is there are certain elements where we get um, subtitles. And but at most times we don't get any subtitles. And you're like, what's going on? I would like to understand what was being said. And so if that in a, maybe a, hopefully like a, the theatrical, well, not the theatrical, but like maybe the home release, if we can get more, some subtitles so we can understand what's being said throughout the entire film, that would be nice. Um, but I love that they spoke in, in the actual language of the culture, or at least uh, that's what it appeared to be. Um, but they, it looked like they really did their homework. There's a lot of touches that really seem to be authentic about uh, the, the the tribes uh, that were represented. 
Um, so uh, I, I really hope that the culture, the Osage Nation culture, uh, feel that it looks from doing a little bit of research that uh, Scorsese met uh, with tribes uh, and to you know get their blessings on different things and to make sure they were accurate. Um, that's amazing. Uh, I, as a person of color, appreciate when things like that are done. Um, but yeah, uh, again, this was a hard film for me, uh, but I had to just put my thoughts on because I, I I genuinely felt that, you know, yeah, I, I it, it was it's a little bit long in tooth. I saw the reviewer saying that it was long in tooth for them as well because um, they really have you sit in those moments. But I also understand that as a as a uh, creative take and, and a way for people to get immersed into uh, what they're trying to do. Um, but for me just watching that as a person of color and just seeing death, 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 depression, death, 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 death. And then just evil, just over continuing to do what they do. Just done with it, y'all. But you know, it's, it's part of life. And if it makes you angry, that should be, that that's also a good thing. Cause hopefully it'll inspire to do something. And that is necessary, but hopefully not in negative terms, but using it in positive terms, you know, because I don't want to see anybody get hurt or anything, but using that to just help change the system and help make a difference. Um, so that way things like that don't happen again. But um, there you go. I'm going getting a little bit longer and, and maybe a little bit uh, uh, recanting myself. But um, Killers of Fire Moon, y'all, another Scorsese classic, I'm sure. Um, again, brilliant cast amazing crew behind the scenes it takes a village y'all scorsese did it again um i want to know your thoughts y'all but my, my 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 real thoughts on the content uh of it 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 hurts as a person of color man and uh yeah just had to let that go all right y'all your boy P nerds rule the world killers of the flower moon is arriving to theaters october 20th and then i'm sure later on apple tv they're the ones that put it together it's an apple original film uh, you're going to want to check this one out, y'all. And uh, I want to hear your all thoughts. Let me know if I'm feeling, if y'all feel it, or if I'm totally out base. But you know what? Those are my feelings, y'all. And it is what it is. And uh, I'm curious what you are and how you think. And, you know, if I'm not alone out there with this. But if I'm not, if I'm the only one, that's all good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't have to take my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm doing. This is my channel. And, uh, but, uh, and you know, some people value that. And if you don't, it's all good. We help each other. But anyway, we should help each other. Boy, QEP, Nerds Rule the World. Follow me at the Legend QEP on Twitter, TikTok, IG, Hive, Blue Sky, and of course here with the whole squad at the NRW and at New Wednesday where Nerds Rule the World. Those are my thoughts on Killers of the Flower Moon. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Peace, y'all. What's going on, world? It's your boy Kuya P and our dub, Nerds Rule the World. I just got out of the press screening for Killers of the Flower Moon here at the Landmark East Street Cinema. Giving you all my initial thoughts on the project. Uh, initial thoughts coming out of the joint. That joint was long. Long, y'all, long. And uh, man, I'm gonna go have to go in deep on my full review, but uh, the people involved, Lily Gladstone, uh, Robert Nero, Leonardo DiCaprio, Martin Scorsese, uh, brilliantly acted beautifully shot uh some some great imagery of indigenous culture native culture osage culture um that i really enjoyed um the whole look of the film they really got, got that vibe uh but the content itself i'm gonna need to talk on man uh because yeah i got a lot of thoughts on that so stay tuned for the full review but initial thoughts coming off it, it's it, it it's it's a film y'all uh and uh we're gonna have to get in deeper on it your boy could you pee